On day one of my new administration, I'll stop all of the migrant flights into our country. You know, those planes are flying over right now. And they don't count them in the numbers. I don't know if you know. They and the phone app, which are thousands and thousands of — they're not counted in the numbers. That's why they do it, because they don't want to count it. I will end catch and release. I will restore remain in Mexico. I will bring back Title 42. That's the medical. I will send in federal law enforcement to rescue every town that has been taken over by migrant gangs and criminal alien thugs. And by that time, many of your towns in this great state will be in that position. It's happening fast. It's happening fast. And again, the politicians don't like talking because they think it's bad publicity. Worse publicity is to let it happen. The governor of Colorado, he's a Democrat, liberal guy. He's beside it. He doesn't know what to do. These Venezuelans have come in. They're taking over big parts of his town. And he doesn't — and they're, they're armed with weapons that the military doesn't even have. We will seal the border. We will stop the invasion immediately. We will begin the largest deportation operation in the history of our country, because we have no choice. No matter what obstacles and dangers are thrown in our path, I will keep on fighting for you and for this country that we all love. That's why I'm doing this. I tell you what, I had a good life before I did this. Nobody was shooting at me. I had a hell of a life. Oh, those locations, those beautiful. I could have been, I could have been sunbathing on the beach. You have never seen a body so beautiful. Much better than much better than Sleepy Joe. No, but think of it. Here's a guy, he's president. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, th he goes to the beach. And then he's got a lot of cameras, you know. And somebody told him he looks good in a bathing suit. But, and he doesn't know, you know, a, a, what's he, 82? It's, it's hard, you know, so it'll look great. But the mind can be good. You know, the, I know so many people in their 90s that are showing. He's not one of them. But, but think, any guy that can lie down and in front of cameras fall asleep, stone cold out, and he's the president of the United States, and it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, he's laying on the beach and he's sleeping. I say, how the hell do you fall asleep in front of the fake news media? But see, he can do it. If I did that, I would be. But because they protect him, he can do it. But he's out cold. And in certain ways, I respect it. I wish I had that ability to fall asleep like that. I would love that ability. I'd get a lot more sleep. That would be a good thing. But he goes to sleep, stone cold in front of the, the media. I never saw anything like it. He's sleeping. I say, what the hell? How do you do that? And you know, honestly, our people don't want to see him at the beach on a Tuesday sleeping. We really don't want to see that. Our American ancestors shed their blood and tears to build this magnificent land, and we are not going to let Kamala Harris and her party of absolute lunatics like Nancy Pelosi. How about Nancy? Did you see? Did you see this crazy Nancy? She's crazy as a bed bug. Listen, crazy Nancy. Okay, Visa announces that they're under major investigation major by the Department of Justice, major visa. She owns a lot of visa stock. And they said, Nancy Pelosi, she sold it the day before it was announced. One dollar. Her and her husband. They sold their stock the day before this was announced. Can you imagine if that were a Republican? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, no, it's terrible. It's terrible. No, it's terrible. That they're allowed to do that is terrible. But you're the people of America. You're the soul of America, and you will be trampled over it no longer. We're not going to let this happen. We've got to stop it. We've got to stop it now. You know, I used to say they're trying to destroy our country, and I always hated the sound of that. The truth is, they have destroyed our country. What they've done, they've destroyed. But we're going to bring it back. We're going to bring it back fast. In this election, we need 
record turnout from our small towns. We need the heartland of America to stand up and to rescue this nation. There are so many great little towns and cities. You add them all up, and they're big. They're big. That's what I've always had, but they're trying to destroy them. And they're petrified, I told you. They're petrified of what's happening. Even if they haven't gotten the migrants yet, they're all coming. We need the entire Midwest to get out and vote and early mail-in voting for everywhere. The Midwest has been so powerful for us. This area has been so powerful for us. You've been powerful for us. But Wisconsin... <laughs> I mean, honestly, any place where there's honest voting has been powerful for us. When you look at California, which, by the way, she destroyed San Francisco. She was the DA. Then she became the Attorney General of California. She destroyed California, along with Gavin Newsom. You know that, Gavin? So I want to ask you to uh, go and vote, and really go vote to save America. I believe this is the most important election in the history of our country. With your support, we will get the border shut. We will send the illegals back. We will repel the invasion immediately. It won't take long. We'll defend our territory, reclaim our sovereignty. We've lost our sovereignty. And restore the allegiance of our government to the people of this country. Together, we will make America powerful again. Make America wealthy again. Make America healthy again. Make America strong again. Make America proud again. Make America safe again. And we will make America great again. We are going to make it greater than ever before. So Wisconsin, get out and vote. God bless you all. I'll be back. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Get out and vote. Save our country. Save our country.